I need to speak to someone that is going through a trial, someone that is going through a hard time, someone that is suffering, or if you know a loved one or a friend or someone that is suffering and it seems like that situation will never change and that that person is always going to be in that situation, that you're going to always be in that situation, right? I will say this, right? When God begins to uh, want to use us for a certain pur purpose, the Bible said many are called, but there's only few that are chosen. And many of you guys watching are the chosen few, right? And so when God begins to uh, work on us, when the purpose uh, for our lives become uh, begin to get close, right? When we begin to uh, go through things, right? I've learned that the thing that God would allow first is a painful situation because it is in that painful situation that God is going to do something through that pain, right? He's not allowing you to go through and laughing. He's not allowing you to suffer. It hurts him, right? That you have to go through that, but his purpose is more important than your comfortability. Oh, did y'all hear that? Did y'all hear that? My God. Because we like to be comfortable all the time, you guys. But change does not take place in a comfortable place. But change takes place when you're uncomfortable, right? Because if everything is working for you, everything is going good, you're going to just stay there in that place of comfortability. So God has to shake things up in your life. Oh, yes, he has to shake things up in your life <laughs> to move you to another place, right? I'm just saying, you guys, we don't always understand what God is doing, right? The Bible say, but they do not know his thoughts, right? Neither do they understand his plans, right? So you don't know why you're going through. You don't know why that family member is going through. You don't know why that friend, that coworker is going through what they're going through. But it is God that is working somehow through that situation to prepare them for something greater, right? To prepare them for something greater. I'll say this. I remember like when you young, when you young, because I was young and I it, it, maybe like 10 years ago or something like that. Right. I had went to jail for driving with a suspended license. Right. I went to jail for driving with a suspended license. And um, I got a whole year for driving with a suspended license. And then that year I lost everything. I owned everything. My car, my apartment, everything I owned was lost, right? But I was so busy in the streets, and this is before I was saved, I was so busy in the streets, on drugs, ripping and running with the wrong people, drinking, and all of these foolish things. So God had to do it like that for me. You see what I'm saying? There was something that he was trying to do behind that painful situation. And it's though, it's like, no matter what I tried to do, no matter how I tried to get out of jail, no matter... Who was trying to bail me? It's like nobody had the money. I even had the money. And a friend was supposed to come get me. He took the money and he never came to get me. So I'm in jail and I'm, I'm mad and I'm crying and I'm upset. And I don't know. And this is through the new year. This is through Thanksgiving. This is through uh, this, uh, like uh, Christmas holidays, right? But it wasn't until I was in jail and that I lost everything. And I had the experience with the Lord right? You have the experience with the Lord, but the Lord cannot speak to you, right? When you're so busy doing everything else in the world. And that is why the devil keeps us distracted. Oh yes. Because if he can keep us from having the experience, oh yes. So if God has put you in a place of isolation, it is because he's getting ready to use you. Like I said, when you're young, he'll allow you to make mistakes and mess up and kind of do what you want to do. He's still got his hand on you, meaning you're not going to, that's not going to take you out of here, but he's allowing you to go through that. He's allowing you to experience that. He's allowing you to get away with this, get away with that. But when purpose, oh, when purpose begins to call, he has to put you in a place where it's going to be just you and him, right? And like I said, nothing I was doing was working, right? But again, I met him in the place of isolation, right? Where it was just me and him, me and him, me and him. But again, you guys, 
that's part of the process of God and you never understand why he's doing what he's doing. I looked at it like, Lord, how could you love me? You're supposed to be a love. I didn't even know him now. I'm just blaming somebody because I needed somebody to blame. So I'm like, Lord, how could you be a loving God and you allowing me to lose everything I have and you allow me to get one year in jail, you know, for uh, for driving with a suspended license? That don't make no sense. But I was I found out that God was orchestrating the whole thing. Right. So it's like no matter what I did, there was a brick wall there for me to do what I wanted to do. Oh, because the purpose and the plan of God was calling and it's no longer my life anymore. But now it becomes the life and the purpose of God that he's going to work through me. Right. There was a calling. There was a calling and that calling began to call. Right. And when the calling began to call, my ears were closed because I was so busy out in the streets doing what I wanted to do, right? So God say, I got to put him in a place where I can speak to him, right? He's not hearing me with what he's doing out there, right? And I didn't understand, you guys. I did not understand, right? I didn't understand, but later on, when God showed me that that was him, Oh, that allowed that to happen in my life so that it can just be us. You see what I'm saying? But I didn't understand while I was going through it. I was angry. I was upset. I didn't understand. But after a while, after a while, he revealed it to me that that was him. Again, he revealed it to me that that was him. And I said, okay, God, I see why you had to allow me to go through that because it only made me stronger in you. My faith increased in him. It drew me closer to him. You see what I'm saying, you guys? But God will reveal to you why, right? And you're going to thank him for the experience, right? You're going to thank him for allowing you to go through that because you learned so much through that process, right? So we got to trust him, you guys. Just know that he knows what's best for your life, right? Like I said, there's come a time when he's about to begin to start working on your life. So all of those old things and foolish mistakes and all of that lust of the flesh that you used to operate in. No, there's a time when God draws us to him. It is him that draws us. See, we may think, oh, I just wanted to give my life to Christ. No, it was preordained for you to be a child of God because there's a purpose and a plan on your life. So those painful situations, you guys. That's why the Bible says, count it all joy, man, and be glad, be happy about it, right? But the Bible also says that he knows the road that you take. And when he has tried you, that you shall come out as pure gold, pure gold, pure gold. So in that burning, refining process, oh yes, that is where he's cleansing you right he's making you a whole he he's just he's just delivering you from some things right you're becoming pure you ever go to the jewelry store pure gold and they sometimes would check it put a you know you got a chain and they'll sometimes check it put a lighter to it and see if it changes ah! but it's not going to change oh it's going to stay the same because you were purified Oh, yes, you were drawn closer to the Lord through that situation, child of God, right? So don't try to figure everything out because we feel like we have to know everything and figure out what God is doing. No, you have to know that whatever God is allowing in your life, that he got your best interest at heart, that he's in control of it, that he's not going to put more on you than you can bear and you can handle this, right? So I know it's uncomfortable to go through and to see family members go through it, but you got to trust and know that God knows what he's doing in their lives, right? In your life, right? So no matter what, just trust him. Know that he's in control, child of God. He got you. He got you. When you come out, when you come out, right? When you come out, not if you come out, but when you come out, you're going to be as pure gold. So, child of God, trust this process, right? He knows what's best for you. You know, so just let the Lord be the leader of your life, right? Don't you try to do it. Let him do what he needs to do, right? You are coming out. You're coming out. It's just a matter of time, right? But you're coming out. He's walking with you while you're going through that, 
right? So trust God, you guys.